Hello guys, it's Snapblaze here, and uh, welcome to a little game called A Story About My Uncle. Um, from what I've seen on Steam, it's really cool. It's a platformer game, I believe, without a combat system. So, I mean, let's go in and try. I already went in to check out how the recording is going, so yeah. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. Okay, so this is just I stepped us into the lobby controls. of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see. See if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. There's an active traveler, that uncle. I probably need to go this way. This seems sciencey. Or not. I had oh. visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times. But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. Oh, maybe it was. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. It seems like I'm going to space. Yep, I'm going to space. I landed with a crash. But thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me. But back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going. Okay. Or how I would get home. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Yeah. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? <laughs> uh 
Oh god. Wow, I didn't jump. Well then. What? Let's go this way. Thank God I made that. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. <coughs> That's usually the case. Oh shit. Well then. That's an easy way of going down. The power core I found oh God. activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, AF. and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. What's that rat? Seriously. <laughs> It's like a sling. <coughs> it's like a slingshot.
Yeah, I ain't gonna make that with, a, with one. Let's go back around. Bring around the Rosie. Did I just go through? The wall. It looks pretty as all hell, though. I think the main objective of this game is finding your uncle, but I don't really know. Hmm, these blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Wow, that looks amazing. That looks absolutely amazing. It's like a village. Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. She has glasses. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Could've said really? family. Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people or more like salamanders either way they, they walked like humans they talked like humans how is that possible anybody can learn english mate <coughs> Thank you. 
I didn't jump forward. Let's go back. I have to go there, don't, don't I? Yeah. What the hell? Hey. Is she in the village? Oh yeah, she is. Over here. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! <laughs> I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Apparently someone's tent was here. Or my uncle's tent. Or not. I don't know. Butter up. Where are the lights here? Is there a light above there? Oh god, this is high up. High, high, how high can you go? It's like I'm climbing a mountain, man. Oh. Well, at least there's something here. Wait, what? I'm gonna regret doing this. Nailed it. Yeah, because pulling yourself towards the ground really slows your fall. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. Maybe. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals, and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like, she didn't really mean it. Like, when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. Why do I sound like a girl when I was younger? Or just a really young boy. I don't know, my voice wasn't that low, that high when I was younger.
Um, I don't have another. Okay, bye. Apparently, it's not my time yet. And fucking give me a heart attack. Where do I go? Do I really need to go there? Oh wait, maybe land on the island there. Almost missed. Nope. Let's try this again. I'm pretty sure I can make that, I just need to have the right velocity. Yeah, I can. Fuck no, I ain't gonna die here. <laughs> That's funny. A stranger <coughs> in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it if you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline. That was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We like apologize. a father and a son. It is Our true daughter. that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Hello, Grams. I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here, or this video, I mean. And um, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Laters.